My daughter's sixth birthday party was a success and now there is a huge mess to clean up. So in today's video, we will be doing an after party cleanup. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. So as I mentioned, my daughter's birthday party has come to an end. Our party was actually from like, originally I just kind of put on the invitation like three to seven and people ended up staying like two hours later, we were having a blast. And that just means that bedtimes got pushed back and I just didn't get to cleaning up until you know now and it's 11 45 at night. There is no way I am deep cleaning my entire house tonight and waking up early for church tomorrow. So I thought I would do this kind of vlog style and just walk you through my method of cleaning up after a very successful yet very messy party. So in looking around, there is a huge mess and it is easy to feel overwhelmed in trying to tackle it all. But the first thing that I'm gonna be doing tonight, my main priority is packing up any unused food so that it doesn't go to waste that we can enjoy it tomorrow, the next day, until it has been totally consumed. And once all the perishable stuff has been put away, I will determine whether or not I will just go to bed. Tomorrow, Juan will be taking the kids to go visit some family, so I will have the house to myself so that I can clean it without it getting dirty right after I clean it. <laughs> so that will definitely be a blessing that maybe not everyone will have. But as far as filming goes, it does make it easier on me to film my cleaning and actually have it be clean after I'm done instead of my little tornadoes following me around making messes where I just you know finished up but let's go ahead and pack up the food that is still out so that I can then kind of cipher through the trash and other things that need to be washed and put away Okay, so I've got all of the perishable food put away, the stuff that was not in, you know, gonna, I'm gonna eat again shape. I prepared for our chickens, so that is ready for me to give to them tomorrow. And now the last thing I'm gonna do before I go to bed is just kind of gather up all the trash and put it outside in our trash can so that there's not like tons of extra crumbs and things like that around here. And then tomorrow, We'll get to, you know, finishing taking down decorations, washing dishes, and just getting everything back in its place, as well as sweeping. I'm so excited to see this place transform and get back to like my normal home. So let's go ahead and take care of the trash right now, and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning.
Good morning, guys. So my family woke up, we went to mass, we got home. Juan just took the kids to go visit his family and normally I'd, I'd go with them, but with this party like this, there I was just like, I need to get this cleaned up so I can get back on my homeschooling schedule tomorrow. And I'm really trying to treat it like a job and you know, I wouldn't take off work to clean my house. And so anyways, I need to get this done today while they are gone. As you guys can see, we come home and the house is kind of already messy again. <laughs> Aubrey took out some of her toys and her presents and she's trying to get them all started. So I will have to kind of tidy this space up again since I just pretty much cleaned up the trash and food last night. One thing that I did already start was the dishwasher. I was trying to load it up throughout the party and then I just put in a couple more things and started that so that I could get to the rest of the dishes. I may hand wash them, we will see, or I just may load up as much as I can and then just wash a couple things. But that is, that's what's happening inside the house right now. We're gonna go outside and tackle everything out there because it could get hotter and I don't wanna be out there when it's too hot. And also the floors in here are disgusting. So if I were to clean everything up in this house and then go outside and tackle that, I might track some dirt in if I don't, you know, if I forget to take off my shoes and it's just, it'll make it a lot easier for me to tackle the dirty stuff outside. And then if I need to come in, I can and not worry about messing up a clean house. Then once that is all taken care of, I can let the chickens free range since they haven't free ranged for a while because of the party. And then I can come inside and just kind of finish up everything in here. So even though it bothers me that it's still a mess in here, we're gonna go outside and tackle this. So it doesn't look like I've really touched much, but the first thing that I did was get everything that I wanted back inside, back inside. And then I tucked the chairs away because those are just gonna be getting in my way as I do this next step, which is just clearing out all of the trash. I do need to clean up my little oatmeal table activity. That was gonna be like a sensory bin or a sensory station for the really little kids. They had a blast, there's oatmeal everywhere. But I chose oatmeal because the chickens can just go and eat it and they'll just enjoy it. I was gonna do bird seed, but bird seed is so much more expensive and oatmeal is also safe for kids to eat. So I was just like, this is just gonna be like, Totally fine, good station, but it's a mess over there. And I'm missing a whole bunch of my little like sensory play tools. I'm hoping they pop up as I clean. If not, I might have to go through all the trash. So when I'm putting the trash in the trash can from what was already thrown away, I might have to go through that little by little just to make sure that nothing was accidentally placed in there. But once we get all of this trash in the trash can, then it's just breaking down tables and putting the air jump away and just kind of finishing tidying up the items that are supposed to stay in our backyard. And then we'll see how bad the floor is and see what I need to do there. So I've got everything pretty much packed up, like the trash has been thrown out. I went through all of that trash, didn't find my little wooden things. My last and only hope is that it is up in our little clubhouse. So we're gonna walk up there and check in just a second, but I'm gonna clean up the little oatmeal station 
and um, try to sweep up as much as I can and just put it in a little container which we can then play with again in the future and whatever is like left out I'll just kind of like push it near the birds and let them pretty much get it when they're free ranging so we're just going to clean up this little station and then hopefully the stuff will be up in the clubhouse. So there still definitely are like crumbs and stuff. So what I'm actually gonna do is get my blower out here to get most of this just onto the grass so that the chickens can eat it when they free range, particularly because I don't want them to peck at the cement. They do that sometimes, but it could hurt their beaks. So I'd rather it be on the grass. It might get a little soft, but you know, that should be fine for the chickens. And then what I'm gonna do is after I kind of blow off just all of the dust and dirt, I am gonna pressure wash at least this portion of our concrete, maybe not our entire path because we kind of did that in preparation for the party, but it is pretty dirty. And so I figured why not? I'm out here, it's hard. I'm already getting sweaty. Might as well just pressure wash this and make it nice and clean so that we kind of keep it at a certain level of good standard and let it get messy throughout the week and then we can do it again in a week or two. But before I go ahead and like blow all the dirt and stuff onto the lawn, we're gonna head up to the clubhouse. Let me hop this wall really quick and uh, see if there's any oatmeal tools up there because that is the only other place I could think that the kids would have brought it. Oh, okay. <laughs> There we go. All right, there's some oatmeal here. A whole little bucket, some of my wooden tools. Looks like the kids are having some fun up here. I'll let the chickens eat this when they come up and wander up here. Well, this isn't looking too bad. Let's go ahead and clean up that patio cement. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with and without you Oh You don't 
All right, well, I think this looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. I got my chickens out. They are enjoying free ranging, getting yummy bugs. I am gonna be leaving my pressure washer out here just in case the chickens mess up my beautiful work and it'll make it a lot easier to clean up their mess. But now it is time to go back inside and I'm gonna see how much I can get done today while the kids and Juan are out. They might be out for, you know, three or four more hours, I don't know, so I could possibly get my entire house clean, which is my goal. If I don't finish today, I will check back in tomorrow and, you know, wrap up this video with some nice after footage. So I've thought about the best way to approach tackling the inside, and I think what I'm gonna do is unload the dishwasher. The load that I had started has now been finished, and I can load as much as I can into the dishwasher and get that started, or, you know, just at least get those dishes out of the way. And then before I start hand washing any other dishes or anything like that, I'm actually gonna work on our dining room area. And that will include taking down the arch, vacuuming, getting our table back to its normal spot, and just get that entire area kind of just back to normal. And then I will attack other areas where the kids will likely be when they get home. That way I can at least get all those areas clean. And the kitchen is, to always usually messy. <laughs> There's always something that needs to be dealt with and then once I clean it up something else gets messy so I figure you know this can kind of be the last little area that I tackle. Hopefully it'll still be kid free at that moment but if not at least the rest of the house will be you know back to normal. So let's go ahead and put those dishes away and then we will get to our dining room. have gotten a lot done so far. I'm really pleased with how this is progressing. Now a lot of the times in my after party cleanups I would like vacuum this couch and I don't know if I really want to do that just yet because the kids are gonna I don't know possibly be home somewhat soon and I'd really like to wet back 
there's a fly in here. There's so many flies that came in yesterday. There were like 14 on my ceiling last night. I'm trying to get them one by one, but ignore them. Anyways, uh, I really like to wet back this couch because I haven't done that, I don't think ever. Um, it's, I don't know if I can really take off the covers. I don't really remember if that was even an option to take off the covers and wash them. So I may actually need, need to wet back this couch, but I'm gonna hold off on that. But since I need to still vacuum this rug, I also noticed that there in our windowsill, there's a lot of dust bunnies and some other critters that have uh, died. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum that as well. So let's get this cleaned up and then we'll take down some of the remaining decorations around the house. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it So the kitchen still obviously is a little messy and needs to be tidied up. I have these decorations up here that I need to take down, as well as these two birds who survived the picking from all the kids at the party. <laughs> and I have to remove these birds, and I think I'm just gonna transfer them to Aubrey's room if they peel off nicely. Um, I think that she'd like having them, you know, decorate her wall. But before I take those down, I think I'm just gonna finish vacuuming the hallway and the bathroom so that if they do, if my kids and husband do come home, the floor is clean, I can say, take your shoes off, and at least that will stay clean. And then these things are kind of like up off the floor anyways, so I can easily clean that up without much uh, demolition from my little boy and girl. So let's go ahead and vacuum mop the rest of the floors, and then we will get to taking down some of the easy stuff. Daybreak 
mistakes and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up. Sometimes I lose my mind, and some days it's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side. that wraps up today's video thank you for joining along as i cleaned up after aubrey's sixth birthday party i hope this video inspired you to get a lot of cleaning done hopefully you can be blessed like me and not have your kids right behind you messing up what you clean i'm so blessed that i was able to get everything done while they were still out they're heading home now so i'm going to relax for a bit and enjoy some dinner <laughs> before they get home if you guys liked this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And if you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. I have more party preps to come. I love baking. We're going to do a lot of cleaning and decorating soon. So I hope you guys stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.